Salmonella is the second leading cause of foodborne illness in the U.S. It's the leading cause of food-related hospitalization and death. Salmonella kills over 370 people in the U.S. each year. Sadly, the outbreak you are about to hear resulted in 56 illnesses, 7 hospitalizations, and 1 death. On June 22, 2010, after seven weeks of hospitalization, Mrs. Zella Pluhoff of Athens, Ohio, passed away from complications caused by foodborne illness. This is an account of her hospitalization and death, as told by her husband, Milton Pluhoff. My name is Milton Plohoff. My wife passed away from salmonella poisoning. It's been more than two years. It was uh, actually May 1, uh, 2010, and we went to a local restaurant, and uh, they were terribly crowded. It was Mother's Day weekend. My son and, and wife had special dinner for two, which was with their favorite. They, they both were affected by salmonella poisoning. She was terribly ill. She went to the hospital on it was a Friday night when my wife was affected by salmonella. There were 38 other cases that night in that restaurant. It was seven weeks from the time she was, from the time she ate uh, this salmonella infected food till she passed away. The illness is, the, the illness of salmonella food poisoning is terribly, terribly painful. Uh, my, my son who was affected uh, on Saturday morning when I called 911 uh, to take her to the, the emergency room. <laughs> he was unable to get out of bed to even assist me because I found out that uh, she was sitting in a, sitting in a comfortable chair. Uh, she'd made it out there. She was talking on the phone to his daughter in Chicago, and the phone fell out of her hand. And I couldn't, and I couldn't, I couldn't walk her to the door. Uh, the, the ambulance people came in, and but my son was, he was so weak. Uh, just twelve months, a uh, twelve, twelve hours after the, the eating of this salmonella affected stuff, uh, he couldn't even get out of bed, and, uh, and she was in worse shape. And she passed away on June 22nd uh, from, uh, from the complications of salmonella. The, the real stress on the family was seven weeks of daily, daily time in the hospital. We incurred a hospital bill at Riverside of $102,000. And I think professional management should sure as heck be aware of the fact that under conditions of pressure of business, that there's also a, a problem that can arise because of what we're taxing the facilities, cutting down on the cooking time, things that I shouldn't have to worry about because it could be easy for people to rush and serve something that had not been held at proper temperature. And that's exactly what happened. I think that if you can, if you can enroll uh, a number of food organizations, food serving organizations, in the task of, of helping their workers become aware of the critical importance, besides the profit motive, the critical importance of their work, which is, uh, is terribly, terribly important because they hold the welfare of many people in their hands. Part of the frustration with food poisoning is that you know that you know it didn't have to happen. That's the, the thing that is really stressful, that you know it didn't have to happen. You can protect your customers and prevent foodborne illness 
by washing hands and food contact surfaces often. Not working when you are sick. Not touching ready-to-eat food with your bare hands. Separating raw meats from other foods. Cooking to the correct temperature. Cooling food promptly. Maintaining food at the proper temperature and time.